Richard Southern joins us on this Monday. Hi, Richard. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Welcome back. I had to put up with Adrian all last week. It was, uh, oh, it was terrible. It was a nightmare. You. I'm so sorry. My condolences. <laughs> well, listen, uh, the pandemic has changed everything this year, including our summer vacations, which I was just on. Yeah, I mean, we can't go very far, right? I mean, yeah, exactly. No in no international flights this uh, this year. So I asked City News here, I got curious, I, I was wondering, what's everyone doing for their, their summer vacation? Then Zach tweeted me, he says, I took a vacation and I got a puppy. Uh, oh. This is his latest addition to his family, Janela, he's called Sky. Pretty cute, so huh? So cute. Another viewer uh, said he's been fixing up his home. He writes me, he says, Richard never wanted to waste vacay on renovations, but now I have no excuses. So he's oh, fixing yeah. up the house. We've got lots of projects at the house going on. <laughs> yeah, you were doing I saw you on social doing yeah. that. <laughs> uh, Michelle and her husband, Janella, they said they checked out the Magnetowan River near Perry Sound. She oh, says they nice. typically travel abroad. Yeah, that's nice there. They typically travel abroad, but they said they got the chance to experience Ontario this year. I love this. This is Isabel. She's told me she lives in Ottawa, but she took a mini vacation here to Toronto in a hotel and she said I love the view and that's the view we I guess take for granted there of the lake Janella. very nice Aiden says he's been doing a whole lot of cycling with his family uh, this summer a lot of people are bike riding bike sales have been hot Janella oh yeah bike sales I mean we love our bikes and uh, what better time to pick up the uh, the uh to pick up the sport. <laughs> yeah, get out the trails. This is uh, Sheree. He said he enjoys uh, the best of both worlds, uh, the local beach and some homemade cookies. So we've got oh. a lot of beaches here. That's what we yeah, forget. Yeah, a lot it's of a, beaches. That's a great thing. Uh, Steve, he says, I've been spending a lot of time in what I call Porto Backyarda. He says <laughs> they, <laughs> they uh, did some landscaping, they said, instead of going on a trip. So that's their backyard. And I love this. Is our buddy uh, Blair, he's, he's a man after my own heart. He said, I'm spending my vacation close to a well-stocked refrigerator That's now Janelle, you are that is a great one you're just back from your staycation that's right Tell us about it. What, did, what did you do so we went to bright's grove sarnia and you might wonder why and it was really we just opened up the airbnb map and saw where can we find oh, a that's spot nice. that's still available near a lake and this is where we ended up and it was absolutely beautiful look at those crystal blue so what, waters what lake is what lake, lake is huron that? So wow. now, just in comparison, I'm going to show you, this is about half an hour north of where we stayed in Grand Bend. We passed by on the way out, and we took one look at the beach, and we said, no, thank you. Too <laughs> many people. <laughs> That's right. So we were, we were really glad that we were staying somewhere a little quieter. We could find a little quiet spot and have a swim and not worry about the crowds uh, and, and be able to, to socially distance. So we, we packed Let's... most of our meals so that we could eat in the Airbnb and, and not worry too much about, you know, being in contact with lots of other people. That's fun. And it's less stressful, too, than traveling a lot. You get really feel relaxed after yeah. that. Yeah. Right? And also, we went during the week instead of the weekend, so that helped, too. So Good. some tips if you're looking for a staycation. Nice. So uh, here's one place you definitely don't want to go on vacation. A spot in North America may have just set a record over the weekend. It's called Furness Creek in Death Valley, and it lived up to its name big time this yeah, past Death weekend. Yeah, Death Valley. <laughs> <laughs> so at 3.41 p.m. Pacific time on Sunday afternoon, the temperature right here in Furness Creek hit 130 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 54 Celsius, and that could be the hottest temperature ever recorded on planet Earth. Now, back in, in 1913, they did record 131 degrees there, but that's kind of in dispute. Janella, by the way, if you're wondering, hottest temperature ever recorded in Toronto, July July 8, 1936 at 40.6 degrees or 105 Fahrenheit. Wow, here's hoping we don't reach that again. Thanks, Richard. We'll <laughs> see you tomorrow. Not. See you tomorrow.